guys, it's Ali here. Welcome back to another video. Yes, my hair is so, up, which is why it looks like it's like, yeah, you know. So, what's this video about? So, you can tell from the title, I'm doing a review, right? Right? But why am I doing a review on this thing that came out like a month ago, two months ago? I don't remember. Wait, let me just get my knife out. Right? So, basically. I was you I have started using the Autium earbuds. Autium are like I think it's off brand it was a, like a branch of um, beats they were selling so I got those for really cheap for twenty dollars and they had active noise canceling and it lasted forty eight hours which was really great. But one year after using them, they died. They literally died. So there goes my hunt. So I bought five low headphones. It did not work that great. Because the moment I put them in the train, the train is louder than the music itself. So that didn't work. Then I bought another uh, one from Amazon. That was great until a year later. And that was what, last year? It died last year. And I was like, let me just go ahead and buy this and that, right? So one thing I noticed is that I started Tracking, not tracking, but like noticing these details on headphones. What is this? What is that? What is noise isolation? What's with the 3.5 mm diameter and all that stuff, right? So, we get to this guy. I have been using this headphone. I have been using AirPod Pro wannabes, right? I used to use these on a normal basis, right? These headphones on normal basis. They look similar to AirPod Pros. Red light, red light, black, blue light, right? Some to AirPods Pro, except for the fact that they're what? Different color. They don't have noise cancellation. So, yeah. And then the same with these. The problem with these are that when I put them in my ear, they light up blue when I'm not listening to any music. So, that's not a great thing either. You wouldn't want people to know when you're listening to music. Like, if you're trying to hear someone's conversation, that's not that great. So after searching, I finally got with the Ace Fast T6. These look really cute. I saw a picture of the pink ones. I was like, why did I just go buy these? These are really cheap. Not really cheap. This was what? Five bucks. Eight bucks. This was 14. But they really worked good because they both have active. Uh, they have both have night noise isolation, which is the second best thing from active noise cancellation. So. Okay, so here we go with the unboxing. Here's my exacto knife. Right? All my information is covered. Meow. Don't meow me, Mahi. Okay, so since I couldn't buy the state of pink ones because they're more expensive on Amazon, right? I do not know why they sell the same price on everywhere else. On Amazon, they were like $50, $60. Like the white ones were more expensive, or the blue ones were more expensive, well, the pink ones were more expensive, right? Here we go. Who took my pens? No one. So they have these guys. That's fine. And then we have Apple Look. And then we have the headphones themselves. Never mind. You don't like them? So I decided to buy them in pink because that was the only one at the moment in a new egg, right? Like, look at this. Ace Fest T6, uh, the Crystal AT6, or yeah, Crystal T6 or AT6, right? So it's LED, LED digital display, four mics, headphone. So this works for four hours and it has a USB-C charging case, which is great for me because I use a USB phone, USB-C phone. And I'm not too bummed about the four hours because these last two hours, three hours, something like that. Ah. So here's the packaging. Here's superior clear count sound and stylish clear place. And here are more information. So basically, superior call quality. It charges for 20 hours sold. That means the charging case, you could charge it five times. It's comfortable, close to ear, it's stable wearing. And a professionally tunes quality. Charging time is about an hour. Case charging is two hours. Waterproof rating IPX4. It's I'm not waterproof. too bummed about it. 
No, it's not that waterproof. Casing battery is 500 mAh. I want to dip it Here's in water. The thingy, and it's touch screen, touch control. Oh, see, look at it. Look, look. look. They're similar to those two. They're, those were noise isolation. So this has four mics, LED display, and it's taped. Wait, when do you get my one? So Here's much. my thingy. Let me just open it. Look at these! That is so cute! And then in here is the silicone case. So let me just see how to open it. You open it this way. I'll open it this way. See? Ooh, these are on already. So you put this in here. Hmm. One more. I feel like it's easier to pull them out, right? And they're not that secured inside. And what is this? Okay, uh, you open it through the side. Okay. So it's the instruction manual. And charging wire. As long as. Oh. Ooh, these are cute! Earbuds! Earbuds are cute. This is great. I need this for my phone. Great. And let me just pull these out. How do you pull these out? Oh, these are cute. Oh, they're not charging. That's why. Let me just pull these out. That's nice. They tell you how much it's charging. So there's like, t it's going to two bars and this is decreasing slowly. So I'll let this charge and after a week I'll let y'all know how good this is. The next set of footages is just me trying to test these headphones out, checking if they work, how loud they are, how um, how good they are in, no in blocking out so many different noise and all that. Hey guys, it's Allie here and yeah, it's been a week. I just came home from class. I still have more class to go, but like, yeah, you get the gist. So it's been a week. It's been a week and I do have the headphones on my ear. I do not know how this is going to sound recording. So when I first tried it, right, the microphone feature, Sarah said, wow, they were crystal clear. Because usually when you use the noise isolated earphones, they, because of the way they're designed, they're like, the microphone is really terrible. That's great. The audio quality, it keeps going down. It's, I'm going to say the, the headphones are cute. They were really great when I first started them. Crystal volume, everything's great. And then after like two, three days later, right, the left ear sound is like going down. It's so, okay. I've fixed it with accessibility, right? Moving, padding the sound over to the left ear more than the right ear. Still, the right ear sounds louder. Two, another problem that I faced right now, and I'm like screaming. The volume button. So the thing with headphones is that usually by half the bar, like 50% of the volume, should be really loud, especially when it comes to headphones, right? Like, it should be loud enough is that it's not I had to put it at a hundred volume and it was, still wasn't loud enough it worked probably the first few days and then like three days ago two days ago it started going crazy let me tell you the noise feature for this like the sound it worked great on the subways it worked great on the train it worked great on buses and in loud like around Sarah's area it's very loud it worked great there too so it's really great at like blocking out noise you, there's enough noise that you could hear, like if there's announcements, you could hear them, but it's good enough to block out noises. Like right now, I can barely hear myself. So, yeah, that's my review on the Ace Fast T6. It's very cute, Paul. It has a cute design. It sounded great, but for me, I don't know what happened, where it went wrong. It's It just went wonky. The touch feature doesn't work that great. 
the sound isn't that great because it's always like it's always sounding so distant to the point that you can barely hear it the audio controls are like one ear is louder than the other ear i don't know why but other than that it's a really good headphone maybe it's just me that's like i've always had terrible history with headphones so like you know those uh wannabe airpods like the original one like the first airpods set right a lot of people bought it for like ten dollars the the dupes right those work great i broke them the day after but then again i do use headphones a lot so i don't know i'll see you guys later in my next video remember to like and subscribe and if you guys really like this video comment down that you like the video and you want more i will do more if needed but yeah, I hope you guys like this Ace Fast T6 review and see you guys later.